bedroom. I redid my bedroom and I want to show everybody what I made. So previously this room was an office and a guest room. But today it's now a nap room. So um, let me back up so I can show you the overall. We have a canopy and a Sputnik lamp. So I'll show you everything. So I've got some crooked artwork here. Let's see here. It's just crooked, crooked. Oh well. And then I have um, the bed, which is kind of like a magenta. Um, it's not really chalk paint. It's um, I believe it's a latex with a uh, wax over it, a dark brown wax. Um, previously it was green. And then I have these really pretty, very nice um, velvet pillowcases from Pottery Barn. And uh, this is a tablecloth that I actually bought antique. And we ended up making it into a canopy for the bed. And we have like a little dowel there, and I have little pineapple um, finials, and then I have a witch's eye in the middle of the bed. Uh, so the bed um, has cats on it, of course. Um, this cat right here is trying to figure out how to get behind that canopy. It's pretty much making him crazy. So then we also have a Sputnik light. Um, and we added the little ceiling fixture. Let's see. Um, over here, we got a little table from World Market and a Bouillot lamp. Um, and I got a little vintage uh, clock that works, a Tom Horn clock. And then got a paper shade here. It's pretty nice. And then. Um, I had to remake these, but they look pretty good. Um, and then I have some vintage artwork. And then the little puppy dog. I love this acrylic of a puppy dog. So uh, the piece de resistance is this wallpaper, which is um, William Morris. And it's um, Blackthorn. I believe it's hand stamped, hand worked. So, um, it's pretty incredible. Uh, the texture is very, very nice. Um, and you can see the handwork on it. And um, I've got a couple bird frames there. Um, on the floor, I've got two rugs. So I did some rug layering here. And then, let's see, some Laura Ashley sheets and a vintage quilt. Let's see. And these curtains, I wasn't real sure about them. I got a little pineapple finial up there and um, they're hung on, they're hung on rings, they're lined. I got a really nice uh, weight to them. I got them for an amazing deal. Um, let's see, they're Belgian linen and the wrinkles have not worked out because we just hung them. I have my little cute um, bookshelf that I have um, a, a stool with a piece of uh, vintage kill em rug on it. And then I got these cute little guys from the Opal House collection at Target. Let's see, I got um, a little leopard stool and uh, being 50 years old, I have to have a fan everywhere I go. And um, some a green chair we got at an estate sale and a, a rug I got um, off of Craigslist. Let's see. If you pay attention to the wallpaper, you'll see right here, this is actually a face. Uh, here's the eyes. And so uh, this is actually the Blackthorn, which I've never actually seen in person. Um, which is how this room came to be. We were supposed to go to England for two weeks um, right before Corona hit as my graduation present. And um, 
it got canceled. So I decided to go ahead and create um, our vacation room here and we're basically gonna use it for naps. And then I got this darling little dresser. It's um, got some green on it. It's a very nice like burl wood and um, it's got some fret, like, it's not really fret work. I don't know what that's called, but the handles are really nice. They're brass and it's in really, really good condition. And then all the way down at the bottom, uh, there's some more work and then the legs are very nice. So, um, oh, and we also put in uh, mirrored uh, closet doors. So it really adds to the expansiveness of the room. Um, and um, again, that's my canopy. And I actually sewed that to drop cloth. So that's actually um, uh, just drop cloth from the flows. I actually had made a pair of drapes, but I didn't really like them. But I really like how this, uh, this turned out. Um, We've got to put uh, some little caps over the screws on there because he had to cut it. But overall, I like the effect. So now I'll turn out the light and um, you can see the room just with mood lighting. So a witch's eye, by the way, is the like English equivalent of um, a dream catcher. So your bad dreams reflect into that light and then they um, reflect off of you and they don't land on you in your sleep. And that's my new room.